Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I was working on my bike's brakes because if you saw my shorts video going down to then crossing the creek, my front brakes were really squealing and squeaking bad. <laughs> so I took the pads out, I used some brake cleaner and then followed by an abrasive pad. That's one of those 3M abrasive pads and clean the pads real good, the brake pads. Put them back together and decided that now that I have to mount the brakes back on, I'm going to try these little brake adjusters. It says uh, pad adjustment tool. They cost about $5. They come in a little plastic bag, pack of two, no instructions with them. But according to the site, at least on Amazon, what it said was to remove the caliper, put the little adapter on the disc, mount the caliper over it, and then just adjust it the regular way, which is by uh, presenting the caliper but not tightening it, pressing the brake, holding it, and then tightening the screws. In order to help me out, I have down there a little Velcro that's going to keep it engaged. And then I have a little wedge that came with my brakes when I bought them to kind of open up the pads so that they fit over this little adapter. So let's give it a try real quick and see if it works. Now, honestly, in the past, I just do this without the pad thing. And 99% of the time, if you take your time and tighten these slowly, I think that's kind of the trick. It works fine. So let's slide this over the disc without touching it too much because I just cleaned the heck out of it. And the disc wants to slide all off, so let's see if this fits over it. So yeah, it gets caught on it, so I'm going to take a little wedge. And you can do this with a screwdriver too, a small screwdriver just real carefully. And that should open up or spread apart the pads enough. You know, it's still kind of catching a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the little screwdriver and just kind of spread that very carefully and that just opened the pads up a little bit. All right, let's put this back on, try it again. This is the first time I used it, so I do a lot of videos like this where I've never really tried it before. I'm like, oh, let's try this and I do it right on camera. But I think that's the best way because you kind of learn with me. So yeah, so spreading it like that with the screwdriver, it went right in. Now we have to mount the caliper back on with the adapter. And I think every mechanic's biggest fear is that you cross thread something into aluminum, or in this case, magnesium, and uh, ruin it. So yeah, just be careful you hand tighten these and make sure that they're not cross-threaded. And get those in there, but not tighten completely because that caliper needs to move when I press that lever and find its place. So there, it's pretty, you know, it's presented, it's not even snug. Another mistake I see a lot of people is that they tighten this too much and then when you press that brake lever, it actually just bends the disc so the disc conforms to the caliper instead of the caliper conforming to the disc. So you gotta make sure that that moves freely. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and depress the lever. All right, and you can use the Velcro to tighten it. Since this is the front, if it was the rear, you would have to. I can just keep holding it while I tighten. And another thing I find is that if you just go ahead and tighten this, really tight and then this one the torque as, as the bolt turns it will move the caliper and then when you release you find that it is not straight and again if you do it hard enough and fast enough it will move the disc with it so because the disc is flexible so i tend to go really slow piece by piece up back and forth to avoid the disc moving. All right, now I'm gonna tighten it fairly tight. Then we let go of the brake. 
and we're going to turn this, remove what? <laughs> it fell right out. That was easy to remove. Remove that. And that's pretty good. You can hear a little bit of rubbing, but it could be because my disc is not perfectly straight, but yeah, you can hear a little bit of rubbing. But that's pretty darn good. And yeah, that works pretty well. Now, if you're really anal about it, then you can just come back and do what I did and see where it rubs and loosen it just a little bit and move it that millimeter to the side. But I think it's more of a my rotor being not perfectly true. Rather than it not being perfectly centered. And uh, you might be able to see it there on camera. That, yeah, I don't, I don't think I can get it much better than that. So that's pretty good. So now I'm gonna go ahead, torque it to specs with my little torque wrench, and we should be set, and hopefully no more squeaking brakes. So I hope that helps. If you were wondering about how to use those little gadgets, I said this one I bought, it was $5. I'll put the link. It's a Daimosi <laughs> made in China. It's just literally a little piece of metal. So thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up. See you next time.